given by the Red Cross are expected to rise, since rescuers have not yet gained access to all neighborhoods yet. The bodies of the victims are laid out in the city morgue, where the bereaved families come to search for relatives who have disappeared. Meanwhile, the situation in the rest of the country remains chaotic. We now take our second break. now to sports. It was during the finals of the 2010 Football World Cup in South Africa that the world last saw Mandela in public and on a day football stop officials meet in Brazil for the draw of the next World Cup in Brazil, there was a fitting minute of silence in honor of the great man. We have details in this report. Final draw for the organization of the Brazil 2014 World Cup began with a tribute to the hero of the anti-apartheid movement Nelson Mandela. Um minuto de silêncio, a minute of silence em memória, in memory of the great South African leader, leader Nelson Mandela. Nelson Brazil Mandela. and the Brazilian people Brasil bow our heads in his memory. Se da sua there was a minute of silence before the finals draw that structures the eight groups and matches in what the Brazilian president said would be the cup of cups because football is home in Brazil. In Group E, France came out rather well. The group includes Switzerland, Ecuador and Honduras. Nevertheless, the French are being cautious. We have to tone down our euphoria a bit. The first thing, the most important thing for me, is to win the match against Honduras, and that won't be easy. On the African continent, people are feeling upbeat, even if Cameroon finds itself in Group A with Brazil. Fans in Douala are rooting for the indomptable Lions, who will face Mexico, then Croatia. The, the most difficult matches for us are against Mexico and Croatia, because that is where we have got to get the points to get into the next round. In Group G, Ghana is also in a tough position, going up against Germany, Portugal and the United States. The team from Cote d'Ivoire is in a better position. In Group C, its first match is June 19th against Colombia. Group F is a tough one with the highly regarded Argentine team and Lionel Messi. Nigeria will be facing off against Iran. The team from Algeria is in Group H, along with Russia, South Korea and Belgium. Fans in Algiers are very upbeat. We have the hope in this group that we will move up to the second round, God willing. It's an easy group. We hope to win against them to qualify. We have hope against Korea and Belgium, and I really hope we will qualify. The World Cup begins on June 12th in Sao Paulo. The opening match will pit Brazil against Croatia. From sports there, I take a look at the headlines once more. President Jame has called on African leaders to employ a more holistic approach to ending the continent's numerous conflict, this as he addresses the LSE Summit on Peace and Security in Paris. Regional experts have concluded a five-day meeting on issues regarding the development of education in West Africa. African leaders meeting in France for the LSE Summit on Peace and Security have paid their tributes to Nelson Mandela, who died on Thursday, age 95. And columns of French armored personnel carriers are roaming the streets of Bangui in a a desperate attempt to bring calm to the city after days of vicious clashes between rival groups. Well, that was all in this edition of the news. Thanks for your time and stay with GRTS.
Wow, Jerry Jeff. 